All right, quick tutorial, uh, tear down on, uh, on the Cheyenne Sol Nova. Uh, there's a gentleman that had stated there was a return spring on this, and uh, me and him kind of went back and forth on that. So I just want to uh, post a video just to show uh, what the inside consists of. Uh, this was modified, so I am going to put the uh, original one back on. So it'll be all just like if you got it. Um, so you'll see me switch that out real quick, but, uh, it breaks apart right here. Um, it's not going to unscrew that easily. Uh, have, if you've never opened it, um, I'm going to put this up like that. And, uh, but I have modified this to a RCA, um, from the Phono and, uh, it also has a, uh, 4.2 cam that I set it up with um, compared to the original cam that comes with the machine which is a 3.5 you can also note that it's uh, made out of brass um, or this one's just made out of steel uh, real quick though to change it out not that most people are going to be doing this uh, if uh, if you convert to an RCA uh, but if you do take the uh, cam off, it is a uh, 0.9 Allen head. So this is uh, going to be the original setup. Um, also, if you are putting this back on, on the output shaft uh, of the motor, there is going it's going to be machined at the end with a little flat spot that's for your set screw um it's so that the uh the cam doesn't slip on the output shaft it gives it a nice flat area so make sure that this flat plane right here is going to be flat with the plane on this output shaft so that the set screw comes right down on it like I said, you're probably not gonna have to do this, but I'm just trying to get it back to stock so I can show you so that it's not like there's any discrepancies or how it is. Ooh, got it a little off there. Let me come back up real quick, turn this shaft back. see that that little uh, flat spot right there it's flat with that and we're just going to tighten this up on it uh, it's not going to take a whole lot of torquing on this since it does have that machined in so don't be wrenching on it uh, you might damage the bearings uh, on your motor so this is the original setup basically, other than the modification back here to the, uh, the Phono to an RCA. Uh, this is the way it comes. Uh, this is the way it sits in here. You can see, so it's just like that, just like that. Okay, and uh, there's no spring. Just wanna, there's no spring in there and there's no spring in here. Okay, so when this is spinning around, it's just going to stop where it stops. So there's nothing that returns it. The only thing that returns <clears throat> this back to top dead center after it's been spun is a cartridge. The resistance and return spring of the cartridge. So this machine has no return spring. It utilizes this as the return. So just a heads up. That is, uh, that is the way it is. So, and if it had a return spring, it would always go back to the top, just like that. So, just wanted to note that. Uh, I am going to be making a little uh, video on how to convert this to an RCA. Um, it's not that hard. The hard thing is get, getting a different cam for this. Um, so 
if you're crafty, I, I got faith in you. Uh, you might need some machining equipment or something, but uh, maybe you got a friend. Anyways, that's it. That's how it goes. And uh, keep your eyes out for the uh, conversion video. Uh, my buddy wants to convert his, so we're going to go through how to open one of these up. And uh, but it just goes all back in like that. And then your grip goes back on. That is a Cheyenne machine right there. Just a Sol Nova. Just to verify. That is it.